The views represented in this webinar are my own. They do not represent my institution or any other agency to which I'm affiliated with. Today, we're gonna to provide some brief background and use a case to frame how standards of practice change as we progress through surge states. We will present dilemmas followed by strategies individual nurses can try and then repeat. As a clinical ethicist, I work to help people make ethically informed decisions. Since ethics is where reasonable people disagree, I help them unpack why they disagree and highlight the areas of our shared goals. I often search for a third option that may not be visible at the time of consultation. During a pandemic, like the one we're facing with COVID, I continue to help people make ethically informed decisions, but the options are weighed differently and sometimes helping people understand the ethical frameworks around why we have to say no when we wanna say yes can help. Many hospitals have an ethics committee, some have an ethicist, and all nurses have access to the ANA Center of Ethics and Human Rights. Ethics support can help frame these dilemmas that you may face and help identify the stakeholders and seek to outline that third option. I think it's important to always frame the difference between ethics and morality. Morality our judgments about what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad. Ethics is the study of morality using tools, tools and philosophy. It justifies what is ethically permissible and is supported by evidence and framing it into an ethical theory. Moral theories help us think through different actions. You may be asking yourself, what should I do at the bedside? When you engage in should questions, you're engaging in ethical reflections. Now there's many ethical theories, but I'm gonna present four that I see most often in the hospital. When you ask, what should I do to keep my patient safe? Patient safety is an outcome-based framework. It marks a goal to achieve keeping the patient safe, and it doesn't matter how you reach it as long as it's achieved. Or maybe you're asking, how should I follow hospital policy? Policies and laws highlight a rule-based framework and give no regard to the situation that you're in, only that you follow the letter of the law. Case-based or casistry, you might be asking yourself, what should I do to follow evidence-based practice? In evidence-based practice, we use a paradigm of the best practice to help guide all other treatments. That's casistry and action. And then the last, virtue ethics, you might be asking yourself, what should I do to be honest or to protect or to show compassion for my patient. Virtue ethics frames characteristics in the role that you're in. So for example, if a patient needed a painful procedure, like a chest tube placement, nurses may be thinking about an order for pain medication as something they want before the procedure. And a physician may be thinking about the steps and risks to the patient and getting informed consent. This is because everybody in healthcare shares the same virtues, but our roles have slightly different goals. For nurses, we navigate illness and injury and minimize suffering for our patients. Where our physician colleagues diagnose and treat and realize when a patient is overmastered by their disease. Together, we give patients the very best care. And if we disregard the aim of the other, we enter a place of moral hazard.